In this video, we will be covering the tools and equipment that you will need when you go out to an intersection to do an installation of the intersector. What are these tools, Brian? Yeah, we have a basic angle meter, which is going to show the tilt of the intersector pointing down. Two 716 inch wrenches, which is going to tighten it once you have the angle set correctly. A cable tester and a cable crimper. These all come in the install kit from MS Edco. Very good. They'll also need uh, enough ethernet cable for the installation. Different ethernet connectors, all of them work just fine. The ethernet cable is normally a direct burial UV protected cable and uh, all the contractors will have that. Once they've installed the cable, what would you do then? You'll test it. You'll test it for integrity of the cable and also the distance of the cable. You don't want it to go over 300 foot. If it's above 300 feet, what happens? We send you there. Oh, that's even better. <laughs> yeah. You'll lose some of your integrity of the communication between the intersector and also the cabinet. Very good. So without this tool, then you'll have uh, problems in your installation that may show up then or it may show up later down the road. We'll also need to make sure that there's a detector rack in the cabinet, which you're going to put your TCIB card in. And the power supply. For the power supply, we recommend at least one amp per intersector that you're going to install. So you need to make sure that the power supply has enough capacity for it. Why is that? Uh, without that, then the, the power supply will load down and then again, you'll have problems at the intersection that might show up th that day or it may show up later on down the road when there's two feet of snow on the road. With these tools and equipment, you should be able to go out to the intersection and have a good installation.